fifth video in our co-pilot series. I'm really excited uh, today to cover adaptive cards. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on our agent, our custom agent. And uh, mine is called Microsoft Sam. Yours may be different. If you don't have one yet, go ahead and create one before you continue. So once we click on our agent, let's go ahead and navigate over to topics. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a topic from blank. And I'm gonna let the topic know that we wanna create a case. That's what this is for. So So this topic allows a user to create a case using an adaptive card. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is click on this note here. And now I'm going to use a new function that we haven't covered yet. Ask with an adaptive card. So click on this. What this will do is it'll produce the, the adaptive card, but if you actually click on it, you can see that this is actually just a, a very simple JSON object with an empty array for the body. So our goal is to populate this empty array with a, a, a bunch of JSONs um, objects. So with that being said, I will tell you it's a lot easier than you think. And um, Microsoft has made it easier by giving us what is called the Schema Explorer for adaptive cards. I highly recommend checking out this website. Really cool. You can see all the different types of elements that you can use, text blocks, images, media source. Um, you can call APIs using actions, for example, open a URL, you can execute. There's so much you can do. Uh, in our uh, simple scenario, we're just gonna create a case using some text inputs uh, and then once we go ahead and uh, submit this case, then uh, we will check Dataverse for the information and see what we have. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and go back to our topic. And what I've already gone ahead and done is I have actually created uh, an adaptive card exactly the way I want it using that schema explorer. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab that and I'm going to switch this, I'm going to replace this text or, or this JSON with my code here. And I'm going to talk to you about what everything means here. And there's so much more to learn. So please go check it out, uh, the Schema Explorer. So when I uh, click off of this, what you can see here is I now have this card and it looks like this. And there's so much more I could do. I could style it certain ways. I could call actions, etc. But here, what we're doing is I have a bold uh, title here, which is essentially called a text block, but I have used the weight attribute to say that it's bolder so that it's clear that this is about creating a case. And then next, I have another text block. There's different types, right? Text block that uh, asks to please provide the details to create a new case down after that you can see i have this is a new type input.text so input.text is going to be the case title and you can see i have a label for that so this is the just so you understand the type determines what kind of object you're gonna see here uh, what kind of behavior what kind of presentation the id here uh, represents whatever you want to call it for ease of use as in the outputs that come from this card okay so try to name these based on what their purpose is and then the uh, placeholder is actually the text that's inside that is just letting us know you know enter case description or enter your first name etc okay so um, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and uh, see this one here which is uh, this actually, this is the description of the of the case. And what I've done is I've set the max length here. So this is an other attribute to 500 characters so that they have enough space to type in the object. Not too much, but, but definitely uh, enough so that they can uh, give a good description of what their problem is. And this is a multi-line uh, input.text object. 
Down here, very simple, another one for first name, another one for last name, and another one for your email, okay? And we have our action.submit. This, this particular type is just the ability to be able to submit this so the copilot can read it. The copilot will ingest it and so on. So let's go ahead and test this out. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to save and we'll call our topic, create a case intake form. I'll save it. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take a look at what I have here. You can see that the outputs of this are now visible. We can see the outputs based on the ID values that we've assigned to our uh, parameters in the adaptive card, the inputs. So what can I do from here? Well, what I can do here at this point is I can go ahead and uh, call an action and I can call the flow that creates a customer and an associated new case. So I'm gonna do that. Let's click on that. And we know from previous videos that our Power Automate inputs takes a first name, last name, email address, case title, and case description. So let's go ahead and pop those in here by clicking here. And you can see that we already have these um, topic variables that store the values from our intake um, card or our adaptive card, okay? So I'm gonna just map these real quick. So contact first name to first name, and then I'm gonna map last name and so on. So go ahead and go through that process as well. And there is a success message that can be output. That's perfectly fine. We'll just leave that alone. But you can actually uh, go ahead and, and set this to um, something else. For example, a very specific success message if you want. Or it'll be a success message delivered back from your action, uh, your Power Automate job in this case. So now what I'm going to do is uh, after this is completed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a message. And in the message, after this is created successfully, I'm just going to put your case has been created successfully. A representative will contact you within two to three business days. Let's just say that's a long time now nowadays, but we'll just save it that way. And so now we have this connecting to our Power Automate job, which I think is really great. All right. And remember, you can create your JSON however you want. You may have a different use case here, obviously, to, to, to try to collect data about a variety of different things. But I think case creation is such a common thing in our industry that that uh, um, it's, it's good to kind of uh, showcase this 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 use case this business process so now on the uh, chat side what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test this I don't even need to publish my agent right now I just want to see if this works so I will say create a case and let's see how this responds okay great so we've got our intake form you can see that the session has started and we're looking at the activity map. We can see our sessions in progress. It's asking us for this data, so let's do it. All right, uh, this is for Microsoft products and services. So let's just say uh, Dynamics 365 environment is performing slowly. or throwing errors and then the description we can say all users have reported getting 500 error codes while using dynamics 365 and we'll put our first name here 
last name and our email. And then we'll click submit. And there we have it. Your case has been created successfully. A representative will contact you within two to three business days. That's perfect. So in the next video, we will take a look at the Dataverse record that was created. And from there, we're going to extend that functionality a little bit. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm very excited. Thank you for joining. And I hope that this helps you um, as you work with adaptive cards within Copilot.